Morning, guys. Uh, I took a shower a little super late. It just feels so good to snuggle in bed while it's raining. But it's externship day. Boo-hoo. Not boo-hoo because I don't like it. Boo-hoo because as far as vlogging goes, I'm pretty spent. And... I just get spread so thin that I can't find anything interesting to vlog about because I don't want to vlog at the hospital and it's hard to vlog while driving. The struggle, the struggle is real. Hopefully I'll find something worth vlogging about. Put my acne meds on. Glad I remembered today. I gotta get rid of this before graduation. Eee! Eee! It's 10 o'clock. I'm kind of running later than I want to be because I decided to take a merry little stroll this morning. Making my breakfast, making my coffee. Oh my god, my hair is ratchet. Anyway, let's get this day over with. This shift. I left 30 minutes later than I normally would and I was afraid I was running late on time. And I still made it. 30 minutes early because the traffic wasn't as bad as if I were to start at 10. I like it. I feel so sleepy. I don't know why. It's not like I didn't get a good amount of sleep last night because I did. And, um... Yeah, I hope I have stuff to do today because I have i don't know if I've already mentioned this, but I have a feeling um, I'm more of a kinesthetic learner because in school, when we took those tests to figure out what type of learner you are, like visual, auditory, whatever, it always said that I was visual. Which I get. I mean, I like to see things. But I feel like I learn better. And I'm more engaged, obviously, when I'm more hands-on. But who knows? Because whenever we do narcotics, I'm just, like, on the side watching. And I'm just not mentally engaged. And I'm just like... <sighs> but hopefully today... They let me do something instead of just standing around and I hate looking like I'm not doing anything. Anywho, it's raining. The sun is finally coming out. Um, I wore my dirty row shoes today. It's funny because they're my like most expensive pair because they're custom made with Callie and Nika's names on them. But... They're my dirtiest ones because I wear them so much. And I figured it because it's raining. So why not? Why not get some water on their soles so they'll get a little cleaner? <sighs> I'm just waiting for time to pass now. I'm going to psych myself out and then I'm going to walk on the elevator because I don't want to slip and fall down the stairs. Hi guys, I just had the best day ever. There's my lonesome old little car all the way down there. I always park at the very top. Hey. Oh no, I think I left my lights on. My car won't start. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Okay, so today was so unbelievably amazing. The guy I was paired with is like a 10 year veteran there and um, he pretty much just let me do everything. Even in the narcotics, he let me pull them, he let me log them, he let me fill them and then he let me, he let me dispense them. I was so amazed and I made no mistake except for once before I filled I accidentally grabbed um instead of injection vials for a certain drug I got like an IV pack which he said was okay because 
the thing was written on the other side of the, like on the other paper and it's rare that they ever pick the injection one anyway so good good day awesome day best pharmacy day of my life i learned so much in one day than i did in my whole 18 month career of life really i still no i'm just kidding but in all of my externship i pretty much learned so much today and it was so awesome i wish i worked with this guy all the time and unfortunately no i won't because he's going for like some surgery on friday so i will be all alone with somebody else on p11 but at least i got the hands-on stuff out of my system today and we did twice as much probably four times as much walking today we went and covered every single bedroom every single floor like three times but i'm not tired because i was mentally stimulated and we talked about Grey's Anatomy, Bates Motel, Walking Dead, and Game of Thrones. We had a great bonding moment. Ah! So now I am... Actually, he let me out early because we finished so soon. So he, I'm going to go head over to Missy's house so I can give her my... Um, rosary bracelet so we could fix that and then I'm gonna hopefully get Jenna with her but if not then I will have to go on my own because I'm starving my little sandwich didn't cut it oh and I forgot my coffee in the fridge it's okay. I forgot to say that I'm at Missy's now say hi hi what are you vlogging on I'm always vlogging you on Snapchat no, I vlog. I'm a YouTube vlogger. Vlogger? Doing daily vlogs. Like Perez Hilton or something? Uh, less gossipy. Oh. <laughs> you know what that is, Mark? Well, he's, that's what he is. He's a, he's a vlogger. Mm -hmm. and he's famous. Maybe it's because he's gay. I'll say, I really want to watch Divergent. I don't. Is it a very. It seems very sci fi y. It's um, it's like a love romance thing. Like Truly said romance. it was good. Isn't it already out? Mm hmm Like a long time ago? It was out last week. Oh. What time do you work tomorrow? Um, I might... So, I just found out that Missy and Mark are a fish! I've left. All everybody's leaving me in the sad girls club by myself. Oh, they're so cute together. Oh yeah, I already talked about how you and Mark are supposed to get married and just make it official already. So I guess it's official since March twenty first. And I'm still officially single. How do you feel? He was just. He's in the bathroom right now. He just told us that. He did, I asked him, so is how, what is this, is this long term, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, I don't, I can't see myself with anybody else. <laughs> I remember when we first met him, we would always like talk all stupid and talk about like exes and stuff. And he would say how um, he's not ready, he's just supposed to have fun. And now look at he's settle down mode. <laughs> And this is like a different girl now. She's like I'm aware of that. wifey material. She just made him his lunch. He's working graveyard. Oh. I need to find a man. <laughs> oh, I'm happy. You're happy. Right but I'm sad because I'm all alone. I'm this sad, I, lonely world. You know what? Out there, like, I still feel like, I still feel kind of depressed that I'm alone. Why? Why would you know. feel depressed still? Oh, I remember, man, this time last year we were, you and I were all going through a sad little breakup time and like every little thing would like make me cry. And we would listen to that stupid... Type uh, Twilight the, song? Yeah, <laughs> the Christina Perry song. And then we would just sit here in your kitchen like, 
<laughs> Drinking Jaeger. <laughs> don't mind me, I have a bottle of chips in it there. Oh gosh. Oh. And now you're like happy, happy wifey Missy. Man. I don't know, but going back to. Italian risotto! It looks like Lugal to me. You know how much is that? Twenty dollar for that small amount. Are you eating truffles? That's like five years old. That's okay. It's some dark chocolate. Dark chocolate like Muchico. Pit of the day, the worst part of your day today. Thinking of I want to send money to this uh, Irene. I oh, mean, they, they don't have gas, they cannot cook. And yeah. what is the best part of your day? Eating risotto. Oh! And chocolate. Best part, I need to take a shower. Wait, let me wash my face first. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, I work at my other job, and then I have school right after. Oh, the college life to be a working student. Let's try my dad's risotto. Risotto. Here it is after I've microwaved it. Tastes like Lugo. This is Lugo. Yeah, that's why. That's what the. Uh, you order a risotto in the restaurant. Then twenty dollars just like that, without egg. In Philippines, this is only five pesos. I know. Mmm. Shut up. Efficient. Anyway. You know, you already know how it is. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is always such a dreadful, long, boring day for the vlog. So, just want to say good night. I have to wake up early and go to work tomorrow. My pit of the day. Didn't really have one. Today was an excellent day. The only really pit-ish day would be my remote wasn't sinking earlier, which it is now. And my peak would be everything. I had an excellent day at my externship. Like I said earlier, the person I was paired with was so awesome. He kind of just let me do my own thing. And then he just checked over all my work. And it was perfect. And it felt so good that someone saw potential in me and trusted me enough to... Um, do everything on my own, you know, like fill and pull and even narcotic drugs. And it was so awesome. I look like I'm balding. <gasps> but it was awesome. And it made me love pharmacy even more because it's just so hands on. And, you know, you move so much, you're doing so much. And that's what I like about it. It's just when I'm paired with somebody who doesn't let me do anything and I just kind of have to sit back and watch all day, it makes it so dreadful. And like, especially last time, the lady didn't trust me to do anything. So I just felt really useless. But today was so amazing. It's like my best pharmacy day ever. And, and it rained. I love the rain. It's nice and chilly. Oh just an overall good day and usually by now I would be so exhausted and it is 10 30 and I'm like I feel great it's just it's all mental when you're having a good day you don't feel as tired but when you're having kind of a rough day it's like oh gosh by by eight o'clock I'm just dead tired and then I even got to hang out with Missy which I would really never have any energy left to do so, <laughs> excuse me, good night.